all of a sudden brought out this piece of blue slate and all of a sudden everything popped uh-huh sure did our brown back of our house hot tub fire pit pond not bad that is goldfish heaven right there look at that so feng shui i have never seen an aquascape ecosystem pond with that many goldfish just a few in there <laughs> we've got little sitting areas well this actually goes you know out into the water he had a, a name for it well that would be a cantilever rock we call them jesus stones yeah because they <laughs> look like they're floating i went to school to be a collision repair technician apples and oranges Okay, why? All of my customers have been happy to see us today. On the flip side, when you're seeing somebody because you just had a wreck, everybody's mad and angry and it's not a good, happy environment. Yeah, boo yeah. Yeah, boo yeah. Boo yeah. <laughs> and that would be otherwise known as Dairy Queen. Boo yeah. I want ice cream. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, I'll right. Woo! Mm -hmm. That's mine, my kitty blizzard. Here comes the vanilla. Well, it's coming. Can I have a lick of it? No. Wow, this is pretty nice. Not a bad setup. So I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. How you doing? Good. I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. This is beautiful property, Carrie. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this pond. This is pretty big. Look at all of the goldfish, though. Holy cow. That is goldfish heaven right there. Look at that. So feng shui. I have never seen an aquascape ecosystem pond with that many goldfish. Just a few in there. <laughs> Wait until she gets the food out. What was it like before? It was just mud. What's the story with all these horse tails back here? They were there when we moved in. Okay. Moved in. Yeah, there's actually a well right below that tree. You got a vanishing edge down there. Yep. Do you have a wetland filter on here? The wetland is actually right over here in the shelf. So, okay, right so it's buried in the pond itself. Yeah, it's the full length of the pond. So, this is all the biological filter. So, yep. Andrew, explain how that works. So, it's a big upflow wetland system. We didn't have room to put it anywhere else. Yep. Because this falls away. And yeah. Yes. And we pump water up through it. It's sedimentation and polishes the water. It yeah. looks fantastic. So what's it been like for you living with this pond? I get in the pond a thousand times more than I do the pool. It's not interesting because you like the fish. Yeah. And you like the way the water feels, right? Water, yeah, now it's like a pond. We've got little sitting areas. Well, this actually goes you know, out into the water. He had a, a name for it. Well, that would be a cantilever rock. We call them Jesus stones. Yeah. Because they <laughs> look like they're floating. Like So on this project, there was about 40 tons of boulders. It has a 6,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system over the negative edge, which captures any water that comes into the system 
making it absolutely sustainable so it never has to be shut off if there's any other power outages anything it can handle all the water in this system so this project is about a hundred and ten thousand dollars with the rainwater harvesting negative edge it's three foot deep cantilever dock and upper stream area one cool fact about it with all these fish i've never cleaned this pond in three years is she netted in the fall nope wow never netted it only pumped out the wetland once and uh, that was right after we built it just to get the construction dirt i did tell her that we probably need to pump out the wetland probably this fall but in three years never drain and clean never. just cleaned out the wetland yep. once a year yep. so here's the vanishing edge with the leaves right? right so the homeowner just needs to come over here and it just all falls right down here which is why she doesn't even need to net it, it just all falls right. and then and there's a six thousand gallon basin underneath of this wow so, here take that once a year cleaning and that is an aquascape ecosystem wetland filtration for that's properly designed it's a huge filter you don't see it that's the whole point of this the reason that i go out and do a channel like this is i want to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle and so many times that i see water features they're not built correctly they're high maintenance they're not enjoyable for the homeowners these are beautiful low maintenance she doesn't do anything besides feed her fish and andrew's been out here one time in three years to clean the wetland out instead of a koi filter a traditional koi filter that requires sometimes weekly if not daily maintenance so this is a part of living the aquasea lifestyle working with mother nature not against her what a spectacular property what another beautiful aquascape project beautiful house out here in prospect kentucky hey sack of potatoes all right sack of potatoes i got my sack of potatoes here i'm assuming we pulled up in front of this one i'm assuming this is the house yeah see another sack of potatoes right there sack of potatoes come on mama what's it like sister being married to a palm builder versus when he was a mechanic what was he more happy doing oh this for sure he likes and he's, doing it. And he's making people happy yes, right the people love there we meet a lot of people and the people when you were doing automotive stuff you were fixing problems for them and here you're creating beautiful pieces of nature yes and i love it and you're happy when your husband's happy right Are you happy with riverbed builders? We didn't even know the coloring that we were gonna do back there because we hadn't done our patio pavers. He all of a sudden brought out this piece of blue slate and all of a sudden everything. Popped. Uh-huh, sure did. Our brown back of our house, it's so great. It was tiny before. Uh -huh. This is exciting. And the hardscaping around it is as exciting as the actual pond as well. I love that he kept in mind also that I have a grandbaby that's the age of their kids. And so one I thought this was your son. Oh, well, thank you. How <laughs> how very flattering. He made the edge uh, probably no deeper than, what, 12, 14 inches mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Just for safety. First I thought, oh, maybe that's overkill, but now I'm so glad because mm -hmm. I don't have to worry as Has much. he been playing in there? His mom and dad have taught him not to, but yeah, he, he did. At the very beginning, he would sit in the shallow part like it's his own private bathtub. All right, now I got to see this thing. Thank you. It's really cool. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And what I love about this is yeah. here's a guy that used to work on vehicles, and now he's doing this full time and loving it. And before he didn't love his job, now he loves his job and he can just say like me, I love my job. And then pull backyard living, living the aquascape lifestyle is about everything incorporating. And yes, that's the bridge she was talking about going over. Biofalls right up there, very nicely hidden. That's the way a biofall is supposed to be hidden. Some beautiful koi. Apparently this was an existing pond. I didn't realize that. Yes, there was just a small little pond right here, which had some of these rocks already incorporated like this big fern rock up here was part of the old system but they just outgrew it the fish got too big 
and they were doing a lot of other changes out here after 25 years, so they uh, wanted to upgrade the pond. Sure, and what would a project like this from Riverbend Builders? Uh, this project was $16,000. There's about 20,000 pounds of boulders. There's a skimmer, biofalls, obviously. So uh, skimmer on this side, biofalls over here. We didn't want the skimmer over we, here. Underneath the tree. Underneath the tree. So we put mm -hmm. a jet in this side and put mm -hmm. the skimmer in kind of a weird spot circulation-wise. Mm -hmm. And then LED lights, liner, underlayment, rock work, berm, stream, retaining walls. So $16,000 to make something this enjoyable for a family. I love it. So this is a very cool project. They actually built this house 25 years ago and did all the landscaping originally. So everything you see out here was put in 20, 25 years ago. They had had a pond the first round about halfway through that and decided that they were gonna redo the patio and redo some of the landscaping and the pond was part of that. It's always a joy to be able to work in a mature landscape where everything is canopied over and undergrowth. It was just very important to make this pond look like it has been here since the original build. I could see this room gets a lot of use. <laughs> Hot tub, fire pit, pond. Not bad. So I was just asking Andrea about your old job versus your new job. Compare and contrast the two. You went to school to be a technician, right? Yes. I mean, yep. I went to school to be a collision repair technician. Apples and oranges. Okay, yes. why? All of my customers have been happy to see us today. On the flip side, when you're seeing somebody because you just had a wreck, everybody's mad and angry and it's not a good, happy environment. Talk to our viewers out there about what being a CAC is all about. Being a CAC is very important to me because probably like no other in industry where everyone is connected. Greg is kind of our speaking light that kind of connects us all, but we share ideas, we collaborate. For instance, you need help on a project, they would be there in a heartbeat and help you out. And that's really important because there are very few industries, competing companies share ideas, help and knowledge and years of experience. To me, that's very important to be a master CAC.